So now that we have the different types of variables, quantitative and categorical, and from the previous sections we have an idea of how to visualize the relationships, now the question is how do we describe the relationships? We will start with comparing categorical and categorical variables. As an example, consider the MPG dataset. Are you getting fed up of it yet? Remember the extra activities. A little bit of Austin might help you get over your hatred of cars. In the MPG dataset, we have manufacturer and transmission type, both of which are categorical variables. The first way to compare the relationship between these is with a contingency table. This consists of looking at the combination of both variables and counting how many observations. To simplify the data set, we consider only automatics and manuals, not all the different types. We see that Audi has 11 cars that are automatic and seven that are manuals. But think about the research question. What is the relationship between manufacturer and transmission? Maybe one manufacturer produces more manuals than the others. To investigate that question, we need a conditional table. The first step is to calculate marginals, which is a technical way of saying row sums. Imagine totaling up all the cars in each row of the table and adding this as an extra column at the end like this table. We will talk about the R commands to make this table in more detail in section 3, manipulating data. So we see that Audi has 18 cars of which 11 are automatics and 7 are manuals. The conditional table is then so we can see that 61% of Audi's cars are automatic and 39% are manuals. We calculated this by dividing the number of Audi's cars that are automatic, 11, by the total number of Audi cars. In other words, we divided each entry in the contingency table by the marginals. Notice that each row adds to 1. So which manufacturer has the highest proportion of cars that are manuals? Our weight? Yes, Honda with 56%. Let's visualize this with a bar chart. We can also flip the condition and ask what proportion of automatics are Audis. In this case, we total down the columns and then divide the contingency table by the marginals to give that 7% of automatics are Audis and 9% of manuals are Audis. 